ready to make the soap that um, I'm going to use as a topping uh, on both the forbidden fruit and what was the other one, the um, wild red raspberry. So I've got my oils are ready and they're just they're at about the right temperature and the lye is ready, the lye mixture is ready. So I'm going to take this and actually split it into three different um, portions. Because one, one topping is going to be white, another is going to be red, and then what I'm going to use um, the other third on is going to be, um, I'm going to pour some little, um, little teddy bears, um, some pink teddy bears. And I've got a loaf, uh, a Valentine's loaf that I want to put those on. So um, when I, you know, when I work on my soaps and I, I, I try to plan things out, um, I try to go ahead and take into account, you know, well, I need this, uh, especially on these embeds or things that I'm going to put on top of um, different soaps, so I can I can use what I have left over. So, because these toppings that I'm going to put on these two loaves are only going to take about a third of a pound, I guess, of uh, a third of a pound of oils and the soap for that, um, you know, for the topping. So that leaves me with one third of a, of a pound of soap left. So that's what I'm gonna use these for. So, and they'll need time to <clears throat> cure up a little bit and harden up a bit so I can get them out of the molds before I use them. So in a couple of days, those will be ready to, those teddy bears will be ready to, um, to put on a loaf of uh, soap. And I like to do it before they get too hard. <laughs> Because if you let them sit for a couple weeks, they get really hard. Then you know, when you put it on a loaf and your loaf is still, um, your loaf of soap is still soft. It's you know, it's kind of hard to, to cut through. So on this here, I'm just going to um, stick blend this just to blend it. I'm not really interested in getting it to a trace at all. I just want to blend it together. So opaque, and it is um, like it's blended well together. On this here, on the toppings, a lot of times I do not um, put my fragrance oils on the toppings, and and one of the reasons is that um, a lot of fragrance oils, if they have a little bit of a yellow tint to them, or if they have a sometimes even an orange tint, that, you know, if, if you're going for a white topping, I just I just don't take a chance on. Um, adding fragrance oil. I just leave it, I leave it plain. Plus there's, you know, plenty of fragrance oil already in the loaf. So, okay, so I'm going to split this into three. So it's going to be about, looks like about a cup of each. Okay, so one of these is going to remain white. The other I'm going to tint pink for the teddy bears. And then the third one, which is this one, I'm going to tint red. And that's going to go on, on the loaf um, with the um, forbidden fruit. I'm going to stick one in this. And this is going to have to get pretty thick because I'm, I'm going to spoon it on. So I'm going to get this to a really thick um, trace. Okay, this is already getting thick. It didn't take very long to stick blend it, as long as I thought it was going to take. It's sort of getting um, thick, but it, I'm going to let it sit for just a little bit and thicken up a little bit more. It's still too thin to use um, as a topping. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and um, make the pink with the teddy bears. And this is real liquid. This hasn't come to a trace at all. So. I'm going to use this to make the teddy bears with. I'm not really in a hurry with this because these other two, even this white one over here, it's going to be used for a topping, so it doesn't matter if it gets, uh, <laughs> if it thickens up on me. Okay, I'm going to stick one of this just for a minute. the 
the light color pink there. Actually, this red um, mica seems to make um, the soap kind of go into a trace pretty quick. And I want this real, the very light trace, but I want it, you know, pretty liquid to pour into this into this silicone mold. If, um, if it's not thick at all, it doesn't want to get down into the little details. So. I've learned too that you want to underfill just a tiny bit and not overfill at all. But just underfill just a little little bit. And that gives you the cleanest back edge and side. And you don't have to trim any because that can be a pain. bit left. I'm going to pour a couple of little flowers. I can always use those on a, on a cupcake or something like that. Let's see, which one's the, oh, the rose. That's pretty. Move over here to the side for now and get them out of the way. The red. Oh, wow, well, that's getting thick. That's great. more of the consistency that I need. But I have to check this, you know, this here isn't even close. It's real liquid steel, so as long as I don't mix it too much, it'll it'll stay that way for a little bit. It's just about there. It's still not quite um enough. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and um, stick blend the white so it'll have a chance to uh, stiffen up while I'm putting the red on the loaf. <laughs> heavy trace. on top of the soap. And that one is going to go, this topping is going to go on this one, which is uh, Forbidden Fruit. Uh, that's the one that has the green and the red is on the top and swirled down through it. It'd be kind of cool if the red and green mix just a little bit to make black. That would be really neat. Holds the peak because it's um, like a really, really heavy trace, which that's what I want. Okay, that looks 
pretty good there. Okay, I'm going to check the um, the white. And it's um, it's doing pretty good. It's, it's just about time to um, put that on top of the raspberry soap. It's thickening up really nice. One thing I am going to do uh, on the top of this loaf, I'm going to put a little bit, not a lot, but just a little bit of the gold glitter. around and I'm going to put the uh, the white on top of the raspberry. I can still smell the raspberry. That's a that's um seems to be a pretty strong scent. Oh see it's still a little bit uh, it's not holding a really good peak. So it's still a little bit um, too thin. So I'm going to go ahead and put this bottom one on. I'm going to let it sit up a little bit more and stiffen up. And I'll be back in just a second. <laughs> 